nigga, I turn nothing into something. My head was in that pot, I was tryna make something. Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I'm gon' kill him. I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake. Yo, 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 yo. I say, yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerry's coming at you guys with another video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let's get this video to 10 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the notification bell. Now, if you guys don't know, if you have not pre ordered NBA 2K20 yet, you still can do that. If you pre order it, you can pre download it before the game comes out. Now, you're not going to be able to play it. I'm not sure how other people on like Twitter and YouTube are playing it. Maybe they changed their region, but I, I don't think the servers went up yet. I'm not really sure what's going on. Guys, I say if you want the full experience, just wait. Some like the YouTubers doing it, it's understandable. And if you're pursuing to be a YouTuber, then I guess it's understandable. You want to get some views, you want to get whatever. But just let the game drop. You know what I'm saying? Let it be authentic. Like, I don't know why people rush so much just to play the game early it's like bro you're not gonna get any progression further than anyone else so what's the point of you playing a game so early but that's them you know what i'm saying they're a youtuber they want to get content whatever but we keeping it authentic over here we ain't doing none of that early bootleg bullshit we're gonna keep it authentic so um this is this is not the last build video of like on my channel but this is definitely the last demo build video now i don't i'm not really sure anything's gonna change but as we play throughout the year we're gonna be able to see what builds are overpowered and what builds are not overpowered. So it's definitely gonna help, like, or we'll be able to see the difference. Like, we'll be able to see what badges are really effective, what badges aren't really effective, and things like that. So it'll be a lot easier. But clearly, for this Kobe build, this is gonna be the prime Kobe build. I'm, I'm not doing the super athletic one, like earlier in his career when he didn't have as good as, of a jump shot or whatever. And uh, it was just, oh, like, he was heavily athletic. But he still could shoot. Don't get me wrong. His three-pointer just wasn't that good. He had an average jump shot. And his finishing ability was through the roof. So, yeah, you guys see what we're going with. Um, now, one thing I want you guys to do is that I want you guys to drop what builds you're making in the comment section down below. Whatever build you're making day one, which is going to be in, it's literally in about 10 hours or so, um, let me know. I want to know what build you guys are making. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see. Um, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna see a lot more like unique builds in the park. And I just want to give y'all my thoughts. I know this is a Kobe Bryant build video, but obviously you guys know how it is, man. Just look at everything I'm doing in the video, and you'll be able to see it. But um, yeah, my thoughts on the game so far, from what I've seen, the neighborhood is literally the same, and it's extremely disappointing that 2K really did that. Like they did not change much. It's not like. A lot of people are saying, well, 2K16 to 17, it kind of was like the same things. Um, what I have to say to that was 2K16 to 17, uh, Sunset was kind of the same, but at least they changed, like, I don't know, they added a couple more things to it, changed up the courts. Like, the courts are literally the same exact courts. Like, 2K couldn't even take the time to put a new color on the freaking courts. I mean, it's sad, but, I mean, hey, if the gameplay turns out being the best gameplay of all time, do we really are we really gonna have much complaining to do that's my main thing at this point like we already know what is what um and we just have to hope that the gameplay is good because if this is the best gameplay that we've ever experienced i feel like we'll be around for a lot longer um one of the more troubling things that i did hear somebody say was that the rep rewards are the same and when i seen that like it's it's difficult it's difficult because i don't know like it's, it's tough spots for everybody to be in like 2k as a company i'm not gonna say they're in a tough spot they're making millions of dollars so i'm not even gonna say they're in a tough spot but i look at the bigger youtubers that have fans and like they have a big following and it sucks that like they're such good youtubers and they get these great opportunities these life-changing opportunities that would be good for their self and good for their families and things like that but at the same time it, it's it just sucks because i'm pretty sure some of them want to voice their opinion like i know annoying has a history of wanting to voice his opinion about certain things trying to give them wish lists and things like that and um also at the same time just like maybe might make some bad predictions like he predicted that 2k18 would be the greatest 2k of all time but I'm not gonna blame him too much on that because when we seen the 2K18 trailer, it was the best trailer we've ever seen at that point. So, I mean, it is what it is. Like I'm saying, guys, um, 19 wasn't that bad of a year. Like, that's the one thing, like, I noticed, like, not everybody, no one's really saying 19 was trash. 
you're not really hearing that you're just hearing people saying that they want to move on it's time for a new game i feel like what the issue was with 19 was just the repetitiveness of like the same playground and then the events just being unplayable because think about it guys what's going to make this game die out really fast to get 20 and which i hope does not make it die out that fast is if we're not able to play events because of the layers let's just keep it let's just be honest guys people are going to be evil there's going to be a little wherever there's a wherever there's light there's going to be darkness i'm telling you that right now i don't care how cringy that sounds it's just facts wherever there is light there is going to be darkness no matter what no matter how much positivity we try to spread or no matter how much positivity we want to spread it's just not gonna work people are always gonna be ignorant um evil have bad intentions like no one's gonna stop getting their accounts hacked no one's people are gonna st people are not gonna stop delaying like that delaying thing is gonna continue on until 2k does something about it 2k as we've seen in the past they're clearly too lazy to do anything about that if they can't even simply change a simple thing in their part do you really think they're gonna go out their way to stop the layers they're gonna say that they're gonna do it just to make us feel better but i seen a tweet earlier from the youtuber by the name of ticino saying that he got delayed out of, like he got delayed out of his park or whatever um the only problem I had with that is like, bro, come on. The game didn't even release yet, and you're playing the park already. Like, obviously, like, give 2K some time to have their official release date, like, where they're officially looking into things. Like, you're playing the game early. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, come on, bro. The official release didn't even happen yet. You're on the game. If somebody delays it, I mean, how? What can? What do you really want 2K to do about? It? I mean, it's an early, it's an early gameplay. It's not the official gameplay. So I mean, hey, that that is like that's just how I feel about it personally. I don't know about anybody else, but um, yeah, like there wasn't really I didn't really look into everything else because I wanted to experience everything for myself. I'm a YouTuber too, so I'm trying to I'm trying to like keep it to where I can experience it myself, see what's going on with it, and then come at you guys with the video because feel me like i said make sure you guys like this video subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because i'm definitely going to be dropping a lot of bangers like i don't want to call them bangers i'm just because somebody did say something about that in my comments i'm not even gonna call it that i'm just it's just videos so i mean i'm just trying to drop these, these videos that's it but um yeah my plan is the game releases for me i'm gonna be able to play it directly at 12 um 12 at midnight eastern time so that means I'll right away I'll make my official build video and I'll um I'll edit it or whatever then I'll get my gameplay I'll edit that and then maybe one more thing I see like I'll go over like the um the rep system things like that just you know those those things that people are gonna be interested in because a lot of people still have school or whatever um a lot of people still have school so honestly they're gonna be looking for any kind of news they can get I know people are releasing news right now but none of it is official news like I mean yeah it is official but the game has not officially released like that's the thing with 2k like and it's so annoying I, I'm not sure I think with like Call of Duty in those games yeah obviously with those any game you get to play it early but I don't think I I don't know if I really remember anybody like playing Black Ops before it released or whatever other than like the bigger bigger YouTube. it's like everybody has their hands on 2k and it's like why why does this why does why does 2k have to be like this i don't understand why it has to be like so toxic and people just doing all i understand like don't get me wrong i'm not youtuber too i want to do what's gonna help my channel grow but at the same time i want to keep everything authentic and just like straightforward i'm not trying to like nitpick for uh bootleg things or trying to switch my servers to do all this. i'm not trying to do all that guys i want to keep everything authentic with you guys i want to experience it like how you guys are experiencing it so that's simply what it is um obviously um i pretty i don't know i don't know i'm just off the top right now just everything i've been seeing about 2k20 and my i've had mixed emotions about 2k20 this year like in the past i've just been really fully excited to play the game but one minute I'm excited, next minute I'm angry. I don't know what they're doing, and it's just been like a roller coaster of emotions. Cause I really don't know what to expect. Like at this point, I don't know what to expect. Same park, but will the gameplay be good? Will wreck be good? Will the passing lanes be overpowered again? I'm not sure. But um, yeah, right here on this Kobe build, I'm just going over the badges. The one thing that I can say about this build right here is like, some people are gonna be like, "What's up with the defense?" But you gotta remember, 
you can't fully replicate a player in this. So if you were to give the badges to the defensive side of things, you would have enough for playmaking to get that post fadeaway that Kobe has or the deep phase badge. You wouldn't be able to get any of that. So that's why I went with that. Now, um, remember guys, some of these builds that I've made, most of them, they're usable in park. The only ones that are not gonna be usable that I made in terms of build videos was like the Allen Iverson build, simply because he's too short. If you put his height up, then he'll definitely be perfectly fine. Um, and then the Isaiah Thomas build, I know he's like a speed boosting sharpshooter, but he's only 5'9", so defensively, it's just not going to work. It's just really not going to work. You're literally going to get the ball shot in your face. So yeah, the one thing I can say, guys, is just when the game does release, whatever player that you guys end up making, just remember that um, you're able to change your badges, so don't stress over it too much i like I, that's, that's the one thing i can really say don't stress over it too much like you know what i mean just just kind of go with it like kind of kind of look into it see what badges are good what badges are not good think about the badges you really need and i hope you guys use the build tester the correct way because i know for a fact a lot of people are going to end up coming to the build tester um in the actual game and they're not and they're still not going to have an idea of what they want to make I, I know exactly what I want to make. I know the exact badges I want to use. So I won't have to sit there and waste another 30 minutes to an hour. Sometimes it can even leak out to two hours of just trying to figure out what you want to make. I know 2K only gave us six players that we could make on the demo. But if you were on PS4 or even on Xbox, all you had to do is make a new account. And once you made a new account, you would literally have the up uh, like the opportunity to make six more players. So for me, I didn't just randomly test random players that I know I'm not gonna use. What I did was make multiple two-way, three-level facilitator builds and um, see what badges I wanna, like fix my badges properly. That was the main thing I did. And for my jump shot, I'm gonna start off with the Kobe Bryant jump shot on um, quick draw on silver. That's what I'm gonna start off with personally. I really like the jump shot. It's like really fast this year for some reason. In the past, Kobe Bryant jump shots haven't been that fast. It's been like a little bit hitched. But this year it's a pretty fast release so i'm going to use that to begin the year with i'm not really sure what the um jump shot creator is going to look like so when it when i'm able to get to the jump shot creator i definitely will see what's up with that but in terms of everything else oh yeah i'm gonna be coming with an animations video too definitely going to be coming with an animations video you already know i got that difficult shots on hall of fame so i'm gonna have to have my my pull up jump shot my dribble pull up um i'm gonna fix my ball handling moves too Unpluckable. Unpluckable is a badge that a lot of people were like trying to put it as high as possible. Me personally, I'm gonna put it on silver and put my handles for days on gold. Now, if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about for my two-way three-level facilitator build. That video is blowing up right now. It has like 90,000 views. If you have not checked it out yet, be sure to go check it out. Link is gonna be in the description in almost every single video. I wanna get that video out as much as possible so people can see what kind of build I'll be using. I wanna be the one that's starting up that trend with the two-way three-level player, bro. I feel like it's gonna be really overpowered. But yeah, guys, that's the main thing I would, I would say to you guys. Also, make the build that you wanna make. Don't really make what's popular or what everyone else wants to make because you're gonna fall into a trap. Like a lot of people feel like speed boosting. Like that's the one thing I wanted to talk talk about too. If you guys made it this far in this video, first of all, you're a true, you, you're you a real one. You're a real supporter. You watching all my like the entirety of my videos. Just put speed booster. Just put it. Just put it in the comment section. Just put no. Just put you don't need speed boost. You don't need speed boost. Like I've never been a speed booster in my entire entire 2K career speed boosting is just one of the more popular things it does not mean you need it to win in 2k 16 i had a balanced player i didn't have a speed booster 2k 17 shot creator 18 shot creator 19 shot creator this year a demigod that's pretty much it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm definitely you guys are going to hear a lot more from me in these next couple hours and the next day or so videos are going to be coming like crazy so if you want to see them be sure to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload and stream we gonna be lit for 2k20 it's your boy john ranks and i'm out i'm not trying to kick it niggas be fake so i'm keeping my distance that shit turned to a habit you don't really know the feeling no you don't you don't really know the feeling no you don't you don't really know the feeling no you don't and that's a habit 
Remember, post it on the block. That's